checkup he did not have any so we need to get that done I'm on my way I left with plenty of time I'll probably get there five to ten minutes early and Dan is getting us some lunch right now he went to grab lunch and then he's meeting me there so that's good the way that we're supposed to check into this thing is that we call the appointment line when we get there and tell them 
face as she's spinning it with something that's funny. She, I won't try to make her wear one. She just won't. She pulls my mask off my face sometimes. So I just, it just won't work. Yeah, so this morning, Luna had a bath, got her all cleaned up, got her nails trimmed. Uh, so we are now six days away from Luna's birthday thing birthday celebration. I haven't done nearly what I did last year, not even close. None of the parties that I've had for the kids, I, I've always done way more than I'm doing with this one. Like I've, I've just put not a lot of effort into it. But focused more on just making sure that the yard is in good shape and uh, those are projects that we were already doing anyways but we're just kind of like a little bit more motivated the main thing though guys is that the weather has been bad like it's just been raining 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 every single weekend it's been raining and uh, that really inhibits us from being able to clean up the filter and plant plants and I can't do much weeding in the rain. It's just not fun. It's not fun to be wet and soggy while you're, you know, cutting shrubs down and stuff like that. It's just not fun. These mosquitoes are out, so can't do yard work in the daytime because it's raining. And then when it stops raining, the mosquitoes come out. So it's just like, uh, it's frustrating. So um, that was like the issue with the last couple of days. We were we thought that we would get a chance to do some stuff, but it, there was a few clear spots, but not long enough to actually get anything really done. We did accomplish some stuff. Like, I finished my daffodil garden. That's what I was working on yesterday. And uh, so that's all done. And I think it looks really pretty. Uh, and then, Dad, you? Yeah? about it but I'm also super stressed which is an, I think a normal feeling to have about it <laughs> the roundabout 
made the camera fly across the car, so I'm sorry. Um, anyways, so yeah, it's it's a lot. I'll probably talk more about it later because I'm gonna be doing a decorate with me video. But because it was so busy all weekend, I decided for Monday I just need to think about my kids, you know, focus on my kids and get Luna ready for her appointment that we're on our way to because if I try to accomplish stuff around the house I'm just gonna get really stressed out right before her appointment and I don't want to feel like that I don't want to put myself in that mindset starting the week out especially so that's why I didn't do much today I just gave Luna a bath and I did some picture stuff on my computer and then I uh picked up the kids mess that they made this morning and then made them breakfast. I got myself a good shower in and then we laid down for an hour and it was really nice. We all just like rested for an hour and then we left and now we're here we are. So it was a really nice kind of quiet day um, which is what I think we all needed. Um, of course Dan has been at work all day but um, yeah so anyways that is how we are doing and I'm really excited for Luna's appointment. I think that she grew a lot for sure since her last appointment and uh, I'm not ready to have her be a little girl. I'm ready. I, I still want her to be my little baby girl. That's how I still see her but um, it's different than Murray because by the time Murray was two I was seven months pregnant, so it's different this time. Uh, she's still my baby, so. Uh, but we'll have to see what kind of milestones she has made this time and see how much she has grown. I'm really excited to see how much she's grown. So anyways, I am about two thirds of the way to the, the doctor's office now. And let's get there, let's go. I bet Dan is waiting for us by now. Take everyone's temperature. It's just gonna hover over your forehead and be closed off. Hey, now me. No. You're excited. 
That's me this time in a second. Are you ready? Your brother just had it. You want to be like your brother? There you go. Girl's a little nervous. Right, Luna? You nervous? Little girl, a little nervous. Good job. You're a good Dr. Rory, huh? Okay, open your mouth, show me. Ah! Open big. Let's look at your teethers, huh? You got a lot of teeth. Okay, let me see. Let you see. <laughs> look at that. bit of a disaster. It takes a few minutes to get up to the clinic. Sorry, I'm going to be eating too. Because I'm starving. Um, the entrances were closed off. Like, the entrances to get to the clinic were closed off. The only access was ER access. You could only go in if you were for the ER. So we had to go around the side of the building and go through the ground floor. So that took extra time. Rory had to go to the bathroom, which took like three or four minutes. Go through the elevator, get up there, and then there's a line up of people just trying to get inside the clinic because they called us. They said when we got there, they called my phone and said, you don't need to call us to check in, you just come in. So then suddenly we had to figure out how to get in. There was a person in front of us with a newborn, a couple with a newborn in front of us, and I heard them because we, you know, I could hear them talking as they were trying to check in, and they had an appointment with our doctor for 150, 150. Our appointment was for 130, so they were there early for their appointment, and because it was so hectic trying to get inside, they got checked in. Till well after two o'clock, waiting to be seen, and the people that were at, had their appointment after us were seen first. They got to go back like 15 minutes before us. So it's like, what the heck? That was our appointment time, and I have to work at three. So I, our appointment time is a very specifically chosen time. It gives just enough time to get the appointment done, have lunch, and go to work. But in this case, like I'm trying to eat on the go, like. I don't even have time to eat. I thought I'd have time to go get coffee, but I definitely don't. Um, it's five minutes till three o'clock. We got back there at around probably 2.10, I would say. The nurse did all of the stats, and then the doctor came within about five minutes. She came to see Luna. So that was pretty quick. So at 2.20, the doctor was um, checking her out. That's what the video timestamp is on my phone. And, uh, so then the doctor left right after, like, she was only in there for, like, five minutes, and then she left. We waited until 2.40, 
I said I wait till 2.40. And then it takes forever to get out of the building. It's ridiculous. So here I am rushing to work. We waited from 2.20 until 2.40 for Rory to get Rory to get two shots and Luna to get one shot. We were just waiting for the shots. From 2.20 on, we were just waiting for the shots, waiting for the shots, waiting for the shots. And all it is is the nurse come in, do the shots, and then we leave. Like, it's quick. Because they don't, they don't want to sit there and it's not a ceremony. It's just get the shots done. Because we had already done the rest of the appointment. The shots are just the last thing. So we were just like, we have to go. Because I was going to, I'm going to be late for work. I'm, I already am going to be late for work. But this way at least, I'm only going to be maybe like five to ten minutes late if we had stayed. God knows how long that nurse, because we even got Luna dressed slowly to give the nurse another second to hurry up and come in there. But she didn't. So we walked out and I was like, look, I have to go. We've been waiting for quite a while and we just need to leave. So they looked at us like, huh? like they were surprised. I don't know, like, they didn't even realize we were there. I don't know what the heck was going on. And then I could see the nurse, she's behind the counter, just kind of, like, standing in the corner. I don't know what she was doing. She was, like, in the corner doing something. And I'm like, what in the world, you know? So, the optics of it is just bad for them. I just don't know what the heck was going on. We still love that clinic, but we just can't stick around for that. I have to get to work. I don't have time to mess around. So, um... We're just gonna have to go back in a couple months, probably. Um, it's June now, so maybe September. If they have any flu shots available in September, we'll try to go back and do it then because I'd rather do all of the shots at once, not a bunch of sh different times. Um, and the doctor said you have to get shots in October ish, so um, I'll see you then. But it's just kind of like, what the heck? It was just so hectic so hectic so but the the positive note of the whole thing is um luna is looking great she's very healthy she's good with her numbers she didn't get the paper printout i love getting the little paper printout because it tells you your kids stats on there but we just left so i didn't even get that printout um so i'm kind of bummed about that her head was 95 percentile and i think that her weight and height were both 50. I'm pretty sure. I think that's what it was. And she was 33 and 3 fourths inches long. 33 and 3 fourths inches long. And she was about 28 pounds. I remember those things. So, yeah. She's doing really great. 33 inches long and 28 pounds. That's that's what our girl looks like. But anyways, you guys, I am, it's three o'clock now. I'm supposed to be at work. Um, I'm about five to ten minutes away still. I just got off the freeway and I need to finish eating and then getting these kids to their grandma. So, <laughs> I will see you later. I gotta get to work. Bye.